Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft and I've got a special treat on the mill coming today. I'm gonna go grab it if my tractor will handle it. It's a massive white pine. I'm gonna turn into one inch boards and some uh, nominal lumber. So this is gonna be a big one. It's not the biggest I've ever done. The biggest I've ever done I think was 28 inch that I had to carve. Um, I might have to do some carving on this one, but we're gonna get this set up kind of getting a mess out here with all the cutoffs got two big piles of them and a pile of scrap got to get this place cleaned up but i'm going to get this done we need these boards for that outhouse i'm building for that customer it's almost done that video should be coming out soon so i'm going to take care of this let's get this going beautiful day in west michigan on our way to the 80s i did get a late start today it's almost 10 o'clock um my wife took another job for the summer, just a, a week camp she's teaching. She's a school teacher and she's teaching a week camp. So we had to get up and get moving and take care of all that stuff and get her out the door this morning. So I did get a late start, but it's a beautiful day. You know, the older I get, the more I appreciate these days and I hope you guys are the same. All right, let's get this log loaded up. You have a pretty good view right where you're standing for the log, so you'll see it. I'll be right back. High as the mill will go. We got it on here, guys. It's a big log. It's 22 at the small end, 25 at the big end. I do have the center centered up. Uh, I think I might clear. I might have to nip this off here. I probably will nip that off before I even get started. Um, I got the head all the way up. I haven't sighted down it yet. It's gonna make it. I'm gonna give you the same view. It's just gonna fit. So I know I'm gonna take a little grief for putting, and that's all right, everybody does it differently, putting the big end towards the operator. I've had guys tell me that's not the right way to do it. Well, when you're using a manual mill, it's easy, better with the power mill now, but when you're using a manual mill, you don't like wanna get all the way down to the end and find out your carriage is gonna hit somewhere along the lines and try to back out of the cut. I can see right now if it's gonna hit. 
I'll base everything on my cant size off of that. Let's see what size cant size we should get. Remember the math, 0 0.707. We should get uh, about a 16 inch cant out of that 21 to 22 inch uh, end down there. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. Less talking, more working, Jerry. Let's do this. My plan is to get this cant squared up and then change the blade. I just did all that. I'm going to change the blade now. Yep. And that blade got really hot. So it tells me it's dull. There's just no way I'll be able to handle this, these pieces and this log without this tractor. Go slow. Give me a lever and I can move the world. Let's see if we can even lift it. For oh yeah. There we go. Let's go down to 18. Everything's tight. I wouldn't even bother clamping this now. Move this all the way back. Easier to start. The weight of this log will hold itself down. Well guys, that log yielded really well. Now unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna see me cutting the log most of it. I accidentally hit delete. Um, but that log you see in this video yielded four 18 inch by one inch by 10 foot six inch long, six uh, nominal two by, I'm sorry, 11 nominal two by sixes, 10 nominal two by fours, and one nominal two by eight. So that yielded really well, I'm happy with it. It was a, it's a super nice looking log. I'm sorry about the video. I had great video, I thought, and I was just scrolling through it and I accidentally hit the delete button. Closed it out and hit the delete button. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. All right guys, if you, if you like this kind of video, hit that thumbs up button for me, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great day, take care.